Hey guys, welcome back to RLCraft, where today we're going to go to the Lost Cities, is what I think it's called. Which is basically a mod that adds some sort of like, I think it's another dimension pretty much. Let's get rid of you. And the way you get there is actually really easy. But I, I don't really know how the portal sort of thing works, so that's why I'm going over here. Because all you need to do is, we'll do it here. So we put two diamond blocks down here. One, two... Put a bed down, and then you surround it with six skulls. I don't really think it matters which skulls you use. But I'm just going to use skeleton ones, because I have them. There, that's five, and that's six. And then all you need to do, apparently, is sleep. Okay. It needs to be night time. Right, yeah, no, I just decided to time set night so that I could actually do this a bit quickly. Actually, hang on, no, wait. Maybe I should fill up on water first. Because I don't actually know if there is any water in the, um, the, the whatever it's called, the Lost Cities. So, we'll just make sure that we're absolutely set. But I do know that, um, oh, actually, maybe I should take some warp scrolls. Because I think I do still have two warp scrolls left in my chest somewhere. So, I will go and grab one of them because they could come in handy. Because, obviously, I don't really know how to get back out of the Lost Cities. But I assume it's probably... It's probably similar to the nether, actually. I was going to say it's probably quite hard, but it can't be that difficult. Oh, I've got three. Cool. Right, yeah, but it can't, it can't be that hard to get back out. I mean, surely there'll just be a portal, and then you just go through said portal, and then you're done. But yeah, just in case I get lost, it could come in very handy. So let's go for it. Hopefully this is right, because I don't know enough about the mod to tell you if I've actually made the portal right. So fingers crossed, I guess. Okay, so, we're in bed. Also, I would like to point out that survival mode thing. Oh, that didn't do anything. Right, well, um... Yeah, um... I, let, me, let me have a look at something. But yeah, actually, what I was going to say is, that survival mode thing was, um... Or the game mode thing was, it was just so I could take a, a thumbnail. Right then, so, at the minute, Lost Cities can only really be a thingy through creating a new world for me. Because I didn't have it set up properly or something like that in the other world. But uh, we are here now. I mean, it doesn't look all that different. It still looks like there are, um, the dungeons and stuff, but I assume there are new things somewhere. Also saying that I did try and go game mode once so I could actually spawn my armor in, but I don't actually have commands for that because I didn't set cheats on, which is a bit of a problem. Whoa, what does that witch have? What is that? It's a crossbow. Can I have it? Although saying that, hang on. Do you know what? I will, because I think there is a way to still get, um, cheats on if you set up through a LAN because let's just be honest I'm not playing an entire new game to get armor just so I could explore the Lost Cities version right then there we go I've got some stuff and I know I didn't have a fiery dragon bone sword but I did have sharpness and stuff on and because I can't really be bothered to get the sharpness through an enchant table um, I'm just gonna do this so let's go and explore this because this is the first dungeon that we found and I have never seen a dungeon like this before oh hang on that does, that does help. Hang on. Yeah, okay. But uh, yeah, anyway, I was going to say, I haven't actually seen a dungeon like this before on um the other world. So, what are these? Oh, they're snails. That's sick. It's Gary. It's literally Gary. There are loads of Garys. Well, anyway, yeah, I'm going to level up my stuff quickly and then um we'll do this. Hopefully, there's some like new loot and stuff from this. And if I do get some new loot, what I'll do is I'll just spawn it in on my other world. And cheat a little bit. Oh, hang on a second. A magical force seems to be preventing you from opening this. That's interesting. Maybe there's some sort of boss? Oh, no, wait, no. I know what it is. It's part of the mod. Basically, what I need to do is A, spawn a pickaxe in, because I've just realized I need one. But what I need to do is I need to basically kill every single zombie around that chest to open it. Which is a little bit annoying, I'll admit. It's also just occurred to me, why did I spawn in a fire sword? And give my oh wait, hang on. It has also just occurred to me that I don't have my um the um the baubles, which is something I probably should Oh. What is this? Ender Queen's crown. Can I wear it? It's a it must be a bauble or something, surely. Is it? It is a bauble. I I keep throwing it out. Hang on, so on my head only. So there? What does it do though? It doesn't do anything. All it does is give me negative luck. Oh, hang on. 
So, recall potion, uh, lucky, lucky horseshoe, that's pretty cool. But that's about it. Hopef hopefully, there are some new cool stuff in here. Because, that, that, did that make sense? No, I, I think, hopefully there is some new cool stuff in here. Otherwise, this trip to the Lost Cities will be very pointless. Right then, so, like, as far as I'm aware, there isn't actually much new in terms of loot. Um, but what happens is... Okay, it didn't happen, but it should say you feel uneasy entering the building. And that pretty much means that the building is haunted. And to get rid of that, you have to die. That's what you have to do. Right, no, but pretty much what you do to get rid of the haunting is you just have to kill everything in the building. But honestly, I don't know if I can be bothered. Because it's actually quite difficult to kill things with pretty crap armor, especially on this, because I think they're a little bit harder than the other part of the mod. But, and, and it's not even that, I swear the loot isn't even that good. Which is, like, really annoying, because, I mean, I'm presumably going to have to find something else to do now for the rest of this video, because otherwise it's going to be up 30 seconds long. So, because the Lost Cities were a complete flop, we're here at the Defiled Lands to take on one of the bosses. So, to do that, what we need is a Calling Stone, which is made from Scarlight, a Black Heart, and Defiled Stone, which all of it you can get in the Defiled Lands. Scarlight is basically diamond. The Black Heart you get from a mob. I can't remember which one it is, but you get it from a mob. And then the stone, I'm guessing, is just normal stone, pretty much. So if I dig down a certain amount, there should be... I think this is it, isn't it? Defiled Stone, yeah. So I'm guessing this is the store. Lava! Lava! Why is there lava? Why is lava? Oh no, it's not lava, it's a- oh, right, it's a- Okay, false alarm, it's- it's some sort of ore? Hep- hepstite ore, something like that. Right, okay, well, we, we don't need that, we need stone, so let's just pick up some of this. I think we only need four, don't we? So, one more. That should do. Right, so that's already the stone we need. So, now we need to get the Scarlight and the Black Heart. Much, much, much later. There we go, we've got all that, and now I think what we do with it is click it onto one of these, and yep, there's the dis- Where is he? I can see his name tag, but there he is. So he's got 200 health. Actually, wait, hang on, maybe I should not stand very close. But what I was going to say is maybe I should eat some stuff. Where is he? Oh, he's there. Right, why can't I hit him? What? What? Oh, there we go. Get wrecked. Strength 4. Strength 4 OP. Right, he's dead. I think he's going to blow up. <gasps> Run away. Just in case he does blow up. Okay, it looks like we're safe to... Yep, yeah, no, he did... He blew up a lot. So, a decent bit of XP. What? Ubium. Uh, um, 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 umbrium? Umbrium. Heart crystal. Defilement powder and ravaging essence. Now, I, r ravaging essence can be used to make something. Can't quite remember what that something is, but it, it, it's something. Apparently, it's an important tool or something like that. Maybe you can make it like this. Yeah, no, that's not... Wait. Why is the water turning to ice? I, I'm not being stupid. That... Some... some what? I'm... Yeah, okay. I'm, I think I'm honestly, like, going a bit mental. But yeah, right, anyway, we've done, we've killed the boss. There is still another boss left. I think it's called, like, um, the, the Malevolent, I don't know, I can't even say it. But, uh, yeah, there's, there definitely is still another boss. So we will take that boss on, it's, it, am I being stu that is turning to ice, isn't it? I can't, yeah, look, that definitely did it. It's turning to ice, why is it turning to ice? Maybe it's because we beat the boss? Who knows, right, but anyway, we will take on the other boss later on.